Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nikki. It is 14 DPO. Have my pregnancy test. Also have my sample. I hate showing my sample. Um, I don't know. It's like I seen spotting it what seemed like light spotting, just a little kind of tiny bits on my toilet paper, so I don't know. Okay, so that's running. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm not feeling any pregnancy symptoms. I think this month the cycle is an actual wrap for TTC, so another month, you know, but that's okay, you know, moving on, you know, gonna keep on trying to do everything that we're doing which you know i've already pretty much you know mentioned the things that we we try you know not really much else to to do i mean we're doing everything we're supposed to i don't know really not sure where to go if i should not do the ovulation sticks this time around maybe just completely throw caution to the wind <laughs> i've done that before and that got us nearest so not saying that's what did the trick hmm. but hey the less worrying and caring and tracking i guess would help just free my the brain load if anything which let's just say something my brain it's hard to calm that thing down it's hard to do that so either way i'm gonna be my brain just goes and goes if you know what i mean let me see here oh yeah this is so negative it's ridiculous Okay. Mm, yeah. That's a negative, no line. It's, you know, I'm going to go with the negative, but I'll be back in a couple of minutes to take a little video and take a pic. Hope you guys are all out there trying, doing your thing still, not giving up hope. But if you do give up hope, just remember this is just this time of the month. This is just this cycle. You still have next cycle. Um, if you're on a time, if you're on a time crunch like me, like I said, like I'm not going to be doing it too. I'm not going to be doing anything past four or five months from now. I'll be done with this journey. Going to wrap that up. Then I then I guess you could try everything that you feel like you should be doing. But my situation is that after this, I'm going to be done. But um, yeah, keep trying. I'll see you. Okay. So it is definite. It is a definite no, at least on my cheapie. Now, you know, we're not out until our um, cycles begin, I like to say. But from the little spots that I did see, I did see like spots, like I said, on my toilet paper. So I'm going to go ahead with that. My cycle will start either tonight or by the morning. I, If it doesn't start by the morning, I'll take a test. If not, this will be the last test and the last video that you see from me. Pregnancy testing, you know, until next cycle. All right. Bye-bye. All right, girl, come on. Who's waking up for our nappy? We're gonna go get Cousin Bella off the bus. So we gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry things up here. Up. Let's get up. Oh, such a dreary, <laughs> rainy day out there. We have to go wait the school bus. Mm. Right, that'll be fine for now. All right, come on. Yeah. Yes, we have to go. Yep, so that's a wrap for this video. Um, yeah, I'm just getting her up from her nap. She was not freaking happy about that, which who is? I mean, no one likes being woken up from a nap, but she really doesn't like it. And yeah, we had to get her up so I can get down to the bus stop and get my niece so that they can play and have like a fun little get together because, you know, Nearest being the youngest baby of the family, she doesn't really have that many playmates. I don't know if anyone else is in that same boat, but it's tough because you know what that means? That means that I have to use a lot <laughs> I have to use a lot more of my imagination. I have to like tap back into to the time when Devin and Aslan, my oldest, were little kids, you know. So so hanging out with Bella, she's about seven years old, and then nearest is definitely bring me back bringing me back. <laughs> so alright everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
touch that ass never so touch that Touch my nose. Touch my nose. Oh. Oh. Yeah, cute. <laughs> Touch that nose.